All right, we are back to this 1956 Singer 301A again, driven by a 0.6 amp direct drive motor and uh, able to sew with the big boys. I would match this machine against a Singer 201 or 201-2 or 1591 uh, any day of the week. It's got a, the, exactly the same size motor. It has the direct drive benefit and I've serviced it and I've restored it to a point where it will take on any task uh, without any difficulty whatsoever. And you can see that with all these materials, almost like fallen soldiers that have tried to go up against this machine underneath the needle and have fallen. We've got two layers of nylon webbing, combined tinsel strength of 4,000 pounds. We've got that uh, four layers of garment leather with li a liner between each one of those layers. We've got the, we've got the vegetable tan leather, uh, the lighter brown one on the far left there two layers of that, probably eight ounces of leather. It went through that like no difficulty. And then finally, uh, the leather on the far side, it's a heavy grade uh, uh, cowhide type leather and it just mowed through that with no difficulty. So what can we do to try to challenge a machine like this? I mean, honestly, what can we put underneath the presser foot that's gonna actually make it feel as if it has something that's gonna give it a challenge? I'm gonna take underneath the needle now multiple layers of upholstery material. I'm going to move the, the rest of these fallen foes to the side and I'm going to grab my material over here. If you could feel this with your own hand, this upholstery material is anything but lightweight. It's the kind of stuff you would see used in a commercial uh, setting to cover areas that are under a heavy level of use, a lot of traffic, and this stuff will definitely stand up against it. Uh, I've also seen people use this to reupholster cars, and even one customer used a similar material to this to reupholster the seats in his airplane because it will stand up against anything. Now, when you have a material like that, you know that it's going to be hard to get through it uh, with a needle. And uh, when I when I go through two layers, that would demonstrate the strength in of it, in and of itself. I'm going to go ahead and fold it. We're up to four layers, and I'm going to fold it again, and we're all the way up to six layers of upholstery material. Now, I might be a little bit hard pressed to get this underneath the presser foot, but I'm gonna wiggle it through there and give this walking foot a chance to demonstrate its stuff again as far as what it can do with a task as difficult as this. And uh, if I drop that presser foot down, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, into position to give some gas to this. And we're gonna see if we can get through this material just as we have with the nylon webbing and the leather as well, three different types of leather. Here we go. Intentionally, intentionally slowed that down, kind of launched into it a little bit, but then I wanted to show you again that when you have a machine that's properly restored and it's got the features and benefits of this machine, you don't have to go pedal to the metal to go through something even as tough as this. Do you realize what we just went through? Six layers of upholstery grade material. Uh, this stuff is incredibly tough to get through. And yet, if I kind of zoom in, let me kind of bend it a little bit to get it to stand up for us. Let me put my clips there as well to kind of keep it in the position. Well, let me zoom in and let you look at the stitch quality on this. Uh, commercial upholstery grade material. This stuff is incredibly tough to get through. We just went through six layers of it with no difficulty whatsoever. There's our stitch quality right there. I'm going to kind of loosen this up a little bit and kind of take it as slow across as I can. Stitch formation, stitch spacing, uh, stitch integrity. It doesn't get any better than that. And again, if I zoom out a little bit, kind of lock my camera in place again so it doesn't move around so much. Look at this from the side again. We're talking six layers of upholstery material. There's one side of it you can see. Here's the other side to really give you an idea of the, the difficulty of what we just mowed through. And you know what? Mowed through is not even correct. We kind of took it easy. And yet that 0.6 amp motor just got the job done with no difficulty whatsoever. So it doesn't matter what you want to sew with this machine. If you're looking to sew leather, not a problem. Nylon webbing, got you covered. Upholstery material like this, not a big deal. 
the last saw if I'm going to do with this machine to show what it's able to do will be multiple layers of heavy grade denim. So check that video out as well. All right. Thanks so much for watching.